key component of Washington's strategy to restore salmon runs is replacing culverts that block fish passage. Anywhere where a creek goes under a road, it's typically a culvert or a large pipe. Washington ramped up work after a court injunction in 2013. Researchers say a new study offers a useful tool for seeing where changes are working and deciding how to spend money in the future. University of Washington scientists used what's called environmental DNA to test the success of two projects. In the past, they might have counted fish in streams. Instead, they collected water samples and tested them in a lab for fish DNA. The fish can move and hide. DNA can't hide. Fish are continuously shedding DNA. And so because we don't have to be exactly have an expert taxonomist looking at the salmonid and saying, that's a Chinook salmon, we can get a water sample and the DNA is going to be there even if the Chinook salmon is hiding under a log. Months of sampling showed one of their test projects, a small culvert replacement under State Route 11, had little impact on the number of fish passing through. That means the older culvert may have been passable after all. A more major project opened up a huge passageway for fish under I-5 and showed improvement for four species. A cool science project, but then also be able to be pushing towards handing managers better tools that are really scalable. From Bellingham, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.